Okay, so uh, hello everyone. So it has been a very long time since I made my YouTube video in English. Okay, so this one I made it in English because I want to do a few announcements regarding my International Shadow Codes Academy. Okay, uh, so regarding that, uh, I will not do English uh, mentorship anymore. Okay, I will not do mentorship for English student or international student anymore uh, so if some of you want to give me money or want to learn from me you can just forget about that you can learn from you from my YouTube instead and uh, please okay so uh, if some of you asking why I make this kind of decision is because I receive a few okay a few uh, message a few comment regarding that I make money from mentorship only okay mentorship is one of my side income but it is not my main one okay so if I do not do it uh, I'm still making profit okay so you can forget about giving me money or such and learn from your YouTube okay so that's it okay so let's get back to base at SR level okay today's topic okay I will go through the announcement at the end of the video now we focus on this study okay uh, consider it uh, consider consider this uh, topic as a gift uh, from me uh, for not be making the international class okay uh, so this one okay maybe i need to explain about sr level first okay i will cut this one okay this one is a uh, typical snr trader okay Because some else that they will do these two things sell at resistance buy at support. Okay, okay so this is a uh, resistance resistance level okay this is the first uh, the first one and this is the second one that most people will sell okay so if I draw a candle here because we trade using candle okay so I need to draw the candle for example okay Okay, so this is the most uh, the most common risk zone. Okay, SNR risk zone. Uh, typical SNR risk zone. Okay, and usually people will put their stop loss just above here. Okay. Usually, people will put their stop loss just above uh, resistant level. Okay, in this case, it's resistant level. Okay, 
so at this blue color okay and sometimes price can hit up to here okay the shadow uh, can hit the stop loss first and then go down okay so this bring us to here base at SR level okay so normally people will sell at this resistance and they will just put their stop loss above this uh, resistance uh, above this uh, resistance shadow okay the highest point of this resistance they will put the stop loss okay and then we will have our base here okay this is our base it's called drop base drop uh, it doesn't matter either is a drop base drop or a rally base drop as long as the base is at SR level or support resistance level so in this case this is support level okay so the base must cross the support level okay and over here is our lovely base okay this is our base our base that cross the SR or, or the support level Okay, and then uh, the SNR level will put their stop loss just inside this zone. Usually, if the shadow is up here, so it is a good a good place to put the stop loss. But if it, uh, if the shadow is inside this zone, it's better for you to put the stop loss is above uh, the base. Okay. Mm, okay correct place to put the stop loss correct place to oh, to put stop loss is above this okay so this is the correct place to put stop loss okay so we look at this example on GBP JPY. So if some uh, some of you already seen uh, this video tutorial in my IG story, uh, so it's good you have a prior knowledge regarding this. Uh, but I I still want to make it in my PC, so most of you can learn better. Okay, the chart is better and the drawing is better than than the one that I draw at my IGTV okay so let's draw this one this base okay so what's so special about this base is this one okay and then make this shorter okay um support <coughs> Okay, support, and then this support cross this base. Okay, so we mark this base. This is called drop base, drop base. Okay, if some of you are new to my channel and do not know supply and demand, you can watch my previous video. Okay, but it is in Bahasa Malaysia so you need to learn my language if you are uh, a foreigner okay um, drop this drop this that cross SR or support level so if you want to find uh, a buy setup for this just uh, flip this image okay uh, it's the same thing okay the chart just went the same way it's either up or down okay so uh, I want you to look over here okay oh. okay so this one this is our resistance okay 
So sometimes uh, resistance is good, but you cannot depend on sometimes. That sometimes might lose your money. Okay. So uh, this one, this resistance. Mm, wait. Mm, okay, this one. All right. So usually people will put their stop loss up here. Okay. For example, I will delete this. Okay. So usually people will uh, put their stop loss up here. Okay. This is the resistance. I will delete this. Okay. This is resistance. Resistance. So people sell here. Look, I I also sell here. Okay. Uh, and over here is uh, stop loss. S N R S L. Okay. Okay. So usually people will uh will put stop loss here, but sometimes price can shoot up to here. Okay. So it's dangerous if you put your stop loss just down here. The have you ever experienced when uh they touch your stop loss and then uh price went uh went on to your current direction. So because you want to save about five to seven pips you lose your entry okay so it's okay to have a bigger stop loss uh, because uh, you do not want to lose this opportunity okay you can profit about the maximum of 160 pips and might be reaching 200 pips because of this few because of 20 pips you do not want to risk okay it's okay for you to uh, get a bigger risk just make sure your profit is uh, bigger than your risk okay so the risk and reward is beautiful okay so this is the normal person okay the normal SNR trader uh, the typical SNR trader would, would trade okay so if you add this knowledge okay on uh, base that cross with uh, support you can move your stop loss you see your stop loss is inside this zone okay in uh, as a SND trader, you are uh, breaking the rule uh, of trading SND because SND the base must be uh, the SL. Okay, the stop loss must be outside the base. Okay, so this is the correct. Uh, okay, I will mark here and up here I will uh, I will write it as the correct uh, position for SL. Okay, so uh, why did I know price will uh, will turn up here? Because previously price are able to to reject this base. Okay, this base are able to push price down to here about two hundred pips. Okay, and the second time it went, I know this base got power. Okay, it got. Um, what do you call it? Uh, it got strength in it. Okay, it's a very strong base. So the second time it came, I know it can uh, reject price again. Okay, so I will wait here. Okay, so why my take profit here is because of this base. Okay, why I choose this base? Okay, why did I choose this base? Because uh, this base are able to push price from here up to here okay 200 pips okay so I'm hoping it will go up to here okay some people will be taking this uh, QMTP okay it's okay I will put my TP there and it's okay just bring your stop loss to break even so uh, you will profit about two dollar when it hits okay so you will not be in negative okay as long as you manage your risk, you will be trading happily. Mm, okay, so over here I will write some notes here. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. Okay, this is a very good tips for you trading S and D. Okay, a uh, good and strong base can be recognized by its um ability to push 
price okay so that is a good a good thing for you to think okay some people will look uh, we look for a touch trade here okay touch trade is good but you have the risk of your sl get blown your base will be just your base will just melt okay it cannot hold price so a good way for you to see whether a base is good or not is to see if it got a history of pushing price down uh, uh, does it have the ability to push price down okay so the second time it went uh, just look for a price action here uh, if you want to know price action you can look for my other video look for price action here and then make your position okay it will push price okay it a very strong base okay so when it got broken okay find a new one okay find other setup okay so regarding my announcement on the beginning of the video I will uh, make it again here announcement I will make a written statement okay so after this no one will bother me with the same question ever again okay I will not do uh, mm, English uh, I will not do mentorship uh, for English spoken student or international student anymore okay um so do not bother me with your money or such because you can keep it or give it to someone else okay uh why did i made this kind of decision okay it because of some of you uh, some of you is international okay some of you some of you i know some of you is a good person a very well mannered person but some of you are don't okay so because of a few of you i made this decision okay some of you say that um, if a trader can actually make money okay make money from trading he will not uh, take payment okay payment from mentorship okay okay so the uh, this is just random okay uh, this random uh, demo and constantly mc trader okay <laughs> because this come out from his mouth and he asked me for help because he always uh, blow his account okay but this also came from his mouth okay and actually i already closed my mentorship and he still insists me on taking his money so i put a very high price and he say i am going for the money okay actually i close my international group uh, because uh, i do not do it frequently okay it is not my main job okay i manage fund i trade also for myself uh, and uh, mentoring is just a hobby okay i do at the end of the year because during at the end of the year you know uh, christmas uh, the bank spread and such and such so i need to find a hobby to restrain myself from over trading so i do mentorship at that at that time not every month not any time you can reach to me and say hey bro i want to learn take my money no so this trader insists on me uh, for teaching him so i give a very high price okay i say to him okay do you have a uh, 10k usd okay so even 10k usd he did not got so he say i am going for his money and such so actually it is a polite way for me to refuse not teaching you 
okay so I uh, the way I refuse is uh, when I say no he still insists but and then I put a price that I know he cannot pay uh, for me to to say no in a polite way okay so I say uh, do you have uh, 10,000 uh, USD uh, so and then he say he do not have it and then he say I uh, only go it for the money okay so it's okay uh, he has the right to judge uh, to judge uh, so okay this is my quotes okay okay if a trader can actually make money from trading why do he need to have you become uh, uh, why do he need to help you ah that's it okay hanzo okay so if a trader can actually make money from trading why do you why do he need to help you okay uh, there is no reason for me to help actually but I'm doing this YouTube video for free and such I do free lesson so it's actually I hate scammer okay during during the first year of my forex trading uh, career I've been scammed everything okay so uh, this YouTube is actually to help some of you learn okay so uh, you can learn at my YouTube I will not delete any video or such okay um so just watch here don't ask me for uh for mentorship okay so uh, never ask me uh ever again regarding teaching mentorship or classes okay you can learn can learn in my youtube channel if you don't understand please do learn my language it's called a bahasa malaysia okay it's a very simple language okay i think it's one of the lingua franca means uh, back then in the 50th century Bahasa Malaysia was a, a language used by trader okay uh, so you can learn it it's okay so uh, don't give me uh, don't bother giving me your money because I don't need it okay give it to someone else if you have to uh, so tips for uh, choosing a mentor look for his successful student uh, uh, Look for his uh, his student. Okay, his student success. Okay, can his student trade? Uh, do uh, can his student do what he do or what he show? Uh, his student can do. Okay, so if he do not have student, uh, look for his live trades that can hold uh, a minimum. Uh, Mm -mm -mm. Then I need to make this smaller. Twenty mm, two, okay. A minimum of one hundred pips, okay. If you cannot hold even a one hundred pips, do not call yourself a mentor, okay. So because you still are uh, finding your way in choosing the correct direction in your trading, okay. You cannot even trade properly. How can you teach people, okay? So look for his live trade. That can hold up to 100 pips okay and look also for look for his trade record and our performance 
yeah I think that's it okay uh, do not judge or look for his lot size and his rented cars peace and love okay so that's it uh, this is uh, my announcement for this video and I make it uh, I made this video in English for for this announcement and because I will not do mentorship anymore consider this topic as a gift from me okay so all right I think that's it thank you have a nice day and I will I want to remind you again do not bother me with learning uh, with your question just keep it to yourself learn from this but do not ask me okay um, bye you have a good day nice trading all right